Hi friends, welcome to Lag Smiles 31. I am Sai Lakshmi. Hope you are doing well. In today's video, I am going to talk about combined sets in Tableau. Let's get started. Sets can be combined to compare members in the set. When you combine sets, you create a new set containing either the combination of all members, just the members that exist in both or members that exist in one set but not the other. Combining sets allows you to answer complex questions and compare cohorts of your data. For example, to determine the percentage of customers who purchased both last year and this year, you can combine two sets containing the customers from each year and return only the customers that exist in both sets. Let me show how to create a set and how it can be used by taking an example. Let me open Tableau public application and I have a new worksheet ready to create sets and to show you how it can be used. So my scenario is like this. For example, let me bring uh, a ref, uh, let me bring two dimensions or uh, measure and a dimension. So for now I am going to bring customer name in the column shelf and sales in the row shelf. So we have customers and the sales plotted as a bar chart over here. Now let me swap the sales and customer name and change it to a text chart. Let me change it to text chart and bring the sales to text, bring the customer name to rows. So we have customer name and the sales against the customer name. Let me uh, take a scenario to show how a set can be used or uh, to show how a combined set can be used. So for example, we have a different kind of sales for uh, different customers. Now I want to see the sales which is greater than or equal to 5000 and less than 10,000. So for this we have two conditions over here which is sales greater than or equal to 5000 and the other condition is sales less than uh, 10,000. So for this we need to create two sets. First thing I am going to do is I am going to create a set. Customer name. I have selected customer name and I have right clicked on it and there is a create menu. Another we have an option called set. I have clicked on it and there is a condition tab over here. I have selected that and I am selecting by field. Sum of sales I have selected we have a drop down over here we can select any dimension or measure required so I have selected sales and uh, the aggregation operation is sum here I am going to select greater than or equal to and I am specifying 5000 here so customer customer name set uh, I have removed that and renaming it as sales greater than 5000 ok and I am going to create another set the same way so uh, uh, again I have selected customer name and uh, I clicked on create menu and I am selecting set option over here and I am selecting condition tab I have selected by field operation I mean by field option here I am going to provide 10,000 and the symbol is less than sorry less than 10,000 and I am clicking on ok less than or equal to so let me rename the set
sales greater than 10,000. So now to satisfy both the conditions I am selecting both the sets and right clicking on it and creating a combined set. So we have uh, options over here all members in both sets shared members in both sets sales greater than 10,000 except shared members sales greater than 5,000 sorry yeah it should be sales less than 10,000 so let me rename it sorry I'm deselecting both of them and selected sales greater than 10,000 and renaming it to sales less than or equal to 10,000. Now I have selected sales greater than 5,000 and sales less than or equal to 10,000 set and creating a combined set on top of that and I am renaming it as combined set. So, if we want all the members to be displayed from the both sets, we need to select all members in both sets. So, if we want only the members which satisfy both conditions, then we need to select this option. So, we need uh, this second option right now. And the next one is, it will display sales less than or equal to 10,000. It will uh, it will only display whatever is available in this set alone it it won't uh, bring the members from the next set that means sales greater than 5000 and the same way sales greater than 5000 it will display only the members from this set alone it won't bring the members from sales less than or equal to 10000 so we need uh, this particular option right now so i have selected it and i'm clicking on ok so now I am going to bring this set to filter shelf and I have selected sorry show members in set alone option. So it will display only the members in the combined set. So now we can see the values it is greater than 5000 everything is greater than 5000 and less than or equal to 10,000 we don't see anything. I mean any value which is beyond 10,000 over here. So this is what this is how we can use a combined set. So we if we have more than one condition or anything we can create a multiple sets which is available and create a combined set on top of that and use it in your worksheet. This is how a combined set can be created and it can be used. Thank you guys. Thanks for landing at my channel Laxmills31. If you like my video or like my content please like share and let me know in the comments what could have been better and if you have any questions for me do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon have a nice day bye bye